Okay, good morning everybody. It's day 11 of my road trip across the country. I am here in the Dalles, Oregon. You can see I'm still at the Fairfield Inn in the Dalles. Highly recommended hotel. We got it for free. It's a point stay. We saved up our Marriott points and cashed it in. Um, the hotel was pushing $200 and we got it completely for free. Can't beat that. So today we're going to drive back along the Columbia River Gorge back towards Portland. We're going to stop at, I believe, about three or four waterfalls along the way. We'll check into our hotel tonight. Trying to get over there a little bit early. We're gonna go have dinner. Another thing that we're getting basically for free. I kind of will explain all that stuff in a little summary video, how much everything costs, how much everything should have cost, and how we were able to get stuff for so cheap along this along this trip, because that's how the only way I can afford to go on a trip that's this long. Otherwise I would have been going on a trip that was just a few days instead of five weeks. But um no, so we're gonna check into the hotel hopefully early tonight, grab a nice dinner, and then uh get rested up, and then tomorrow we Go international we're leaving to head up to canada heading up to vancouver and then the whistler area all right i will see you guys down the road at the waterfalls hey we made it to our first waterfall here it's horsetail falls there's also some hiking trails you can do here some of the stuff is closed A few hiking trails, but a few of them are closed. I guess let's go check out the Horsetail Falls over here. It's like just hearing the sound of the rushing water is very peaceful and calming. It's very beautiful here, very quiet. Other than the waterfall, of course. this little area we can walk down and get a little bit closer to the waterfall so we're gonna head down there go check it out oh nothing like walking through a cowboy in the face Oregon's one of the most beautiful states I've been to so far. Check out this place. So I guess it's called Malt Maltnoma Falls. And it's right behind. I don't know if you can see it. It's very hard to see. But it is beautiful here. They have a restaurant, a lounge, bathrooms, a visitor information center, a gift shop, and then a trail to the uh, first, the, the closest bridge, and then a walkway up to the um, first part of the falls, the lower part of the falls, so it's easier there. Another entrance to it, because the parking is ridiculous, it took us a while to get in and we were on the good side of the road actually, we're coming more from the Dalles instead of from Portland area. Portland area has a backup like crazy, the Dalles wasn't that bad, um, we were able to get in pretty quick and still had to wait about 20-25 minutes, I would say, to find one parking spot because it is quite small. Um, however there's also i guess an interstate parking and it connects like through maybe a tunnel or something and you can come underneath and come visit it that way i see a lot of people that made that decision which was obviously better but it's beautiful i don't know if you guys can see the trail can go way up high i see some people way up in the mountains so there's possible there's a few possible ways that you can go up there and the waterfall which is way back there i don't know if you guys can see it oh we made it to multinoma falls it was worth the wait, having a wait to park here, but it was definitely worth the wait. It took us about 15 or 20 minutes to find a parking spot, but not bad. Not bad overall. Especially for 12 o'clock in the afternoon.
This was the next waterfall on our little trail here. This one's called Joaquina. Let's see what sign at the Joaquina Falls. All of these waterfalls are on US 30, but it's the old US 30, the scenic US 30 route that you can pick up. It runs basically parallel to Interstate 84. And uh, before Interstate 84 was built, that what this was the road through the area. But it's the scenic road. I highly suggest you drive the scenic road and stop and see the waterfalls. There's tons of hiking trails, anywhere from trails that are a quarter of a mile to half a mile. It's up to nine, ten miles long. Um, it just depends on how much time, the physical fitness that you're in, the shape that you're in, if you're able to hike that long, and how much time you have each day. Because obviously you don't want to get stuck in the woods in the dark. So, um, no, it's a very, very nice place to do. Uh, Oregon is, like I've said many times, Oregon is beautiful. next one this is bridal veil falls see some other waterfall up there in the distance and then the rest of the waterfalls down here it's kind of like a upper falls and a lower falls very very pretty i think this is going to be our last one of the day today though 